It's a slick, horrifying video with Hollywood-like production techniques. This is the opening of that video created by ISIS, showing Stephen Sotloff's execution. We will be vigilant and we will be relentless. Look familiar? This is a clip from the opening to Showtime's terrorism drama, Homeland. We must and we will remain vigilant at home and abroad. Similar phrase, similar grainy video effect. There's no coincidence here. This is Western media production personnel for ISIS drawing on their knowledge of Western popular culture to not only get our attention, but kind of stick it to America. One ISIS video has a scene similar to one in the film The Hurt Locker. An ISIS drone video looks eerily like a scene from Zero Dark Thirty. But strangely enough, these productions could harm ISIS. In this recent video showing Syrian soldiers being paraded in the desert in their underwear to their executions, the camera at one point jaggedly swings around to show militants on the production team. One man holding a camera, another with his face shown driving. Are these frame grabs of any use to Western intelligence? When Western intelligence looks at a frame grab like this, they're looking to see if there's someone's face. There might be someone they could recognize. A frame like this isn't quite as useful. You can't see anything about his face here. Maybe you can see that he's right-handed. But given that there are so many Westerners involved in the slick ISIS propaganda machine on social media, digital media, uh, one of the things they'll be looking at is to see if this is one of the known Westerners. CNN has learned investigators are looking at whether Ahmad Abu Samra, an American from Boston who's on the most wanted terrorist list, has now joined ISIS and whether he may be behind some of its social media campaign. These groups themselves understand that you need to get somebody who understands the vernacular, if you like. You need to get somebody who knows what images are going to appeal. Now, our analyst Peter Bergen calls the ISIS videos dynamic and the videos from Al Qaeda core boring by comparison. What does he mean? We're going to show you. Look at this ISIS video that we're going to show you next to the latest Al Qaeda core video. The Al Qaeda video is on your left. That video announcing this week operations on the Indian subcontinent. Now that Al Qaeda video opens with an image of bin Laden, then a map, then it's 15 minutes of what you see there. Ayman al Zawahiri giving a speech on camera. Compare it to that ISIS video there on the right and the production and the visuality of it. That's 40 minutes of an audio speech after Ayman al Zawahiri with a simple graphic over it. The lowest of low tech production values in that Al Qaeda video, Wolf, compared to that ISIS video, it seems that the world of media might have passed yeah. Al Qaeda core by.